and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. So sciatic pain relief with inversion table, warning, you must know these three things. R right. These are our opinion. R right. So not necessarily the opinion of everybody else, but uh, us from having treated many, many people. Yep. Uh, as therapists, care. and you'll see it. I, I think it's excellent advice to know. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to our website, bobandbrad.com, because we're always giving something away. Check it out. What it is, I don't know, because this is a view, uh, video in the future. The future. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can also find it on Facebook. It'll be Bob and Brad. Uh, it'll be pinned to the top of the page. Yes. Short version of us. Go to Instagram or Twitter. 60 seconds of Bob and Brad a day. Do we talk in those? Yeah. yeah. Really fast. No, no. no. I'm just kidding. It's, it's just abbreviated. <laughs> sure. Highlights. Yep. Okay, so uh, if you got sciatic pain relief, a lot of people ask in our comments, you know, what can we use this for? And a lot of times it's sciatic pain relief. And yes, this is very commonly used for pain down the leg. But there is some things. See, I've worked with three different manufacturers and looked at their instructions. And I believe all three of them, on two for sure, they, they show you in their video on how to use this in the complete full inversion, completely upside down. And I personally have used it for sciatic on myself. I don't think you need to do a full inversion. Right. If you want to, you can. But there's a couple things I really want to put a caution mark on. And we're going to go through that with you in just a little bit. Uh, Mike, you want to come in and... Well, first overall, too, I mean, you want to make sure this is checked out with your physician. Right. You, it, it's, it is definitely going to increase the pressure in your eyes. Yep, if you got glaucoma, glaucoma, it's a red flag. And also, if you've got blood pressure issues, it, right. could, it could affect that. So, But this is these are precautions in addition to that, right? Right, yeah. exactly, so. exactly. So if you got the okay from your doctor to use this, uh, go ahead. Now these are the exercises that are, I don't think recommended, but they're showing for you how to do. So Mike has volunteered, say hi Mike. <laughs> he, he, he doesn't have a, a mic, mic on. on, so we're going to talk for him. The non-mic mic. So we've got him in the right. He's adjusted so he can control himself. And we're going to go into, now, this is about 60 degrees. And they have a strap. I think all of these tables have a strap to control the amount of inversion. I have it disconnected now so we can get full inversion. Um, and I'm going to say, if you're going to do this, the first few times you do it, you're not even going to go to 60 degrees. Go to 20 to 30. Make sure it feels good before and afterwards. And then 60 was just about right to here. That's right. what, that's what I use. How you got a headache that time the first time you tried it. Right? I went at 60 degrees. I went for about five minutes. And I got up, and I couldn't sleep that night because my headache was still going on hours afterwards because I went too much too, too soon. soon. You have to approach this cautiously and slowly until you've been on it a number of times so you're very comfortable with it. Uh, you don't want to have bad experiences right. on, on something that can really help you if you do it properly. So the whole thing is I'm gonna, we're going to get to what they, rec not only should they recommend, but they offer for optional exercises. You want to go into full inversion, Mike? So Mike's going to go to full inversion. So right now his back isn't touching. You there, Mike? Yep, there we go. Yeah. So he's putting a maximum amount of uh, distraction. distraction and decompression through decompression, his spine, yeah. which may be good. I mean, some people might tolerate this really well, but one of the exercises they show in this position, which I am not happy with for most people, and I would never advise my patients to do it, is do the rotational stretch. You know, and there's stretching, a lot of twisting on the spine. There's definitely some stretching on the muscles and the spine. I just don't feel safe doing this yeah, for people. The, it it might have, help, but it might cause a problem. Yeah, you can actually delaminate the disc. I mean, it, it, the, you know, the layers of it. Uh, sure. I mean, there's rotational stresses, too, that can right. actually cause problems. Right. You know? So you just don't want to cause problems. You want no harm first. Right. And first I know they harm. say people do it. They show people do it. They yeah. say how good it feels. I'm saying if you want to do it, approach it very cautiously. 
I don't recommend it. I will never have my patients do that. I agree, Brad. Um, I concur. Right. And then the next one is for core strengthening. I agree this is really going to work your abdominal muscles, but I think it's going to put some stresses on the low back and the low discs. No, I saw research on this, Brad. Okay. And and absolutely, they did not recommend it, according to the research, is because although you're being distracted, you know, once you get up to this point, again, there's no more distraction. Now you're compressing the spine sure. greatly, right? greatly increasing the stress on the spine. So I would not recommend, so we're not recommending full aversion right. for most people. We're not recommending the twisting. Right. And we're not recommending the, the, the curls. Yeah. Again, that's just our opinion. That's our opinion. Do, do what makes you feel good. And I mean that literally, makes yeah. you feel good. So, but approach everything slowly. Inversion tables can be a wonderful tool they help my sciatica and i know a number of other people but these what we recommended this is by the way is the teeter i do want to mention they yeah, did, right they did ship us this and i just love this yeah very teeter. good table uh we have a, a link below and uh the, the uh, color is coming out of your face now again it was bad you, know, <laughs> you were redheaded redheaded yes <laughs> so all right all right remember brad and i can fix this about anything except for a broken heart put it right on mike's yeah. face there i don't think yeah. the inversion table is going to help the broken no heart. i don't think so either i don't know the blood flow might change something upside down with uh, it might make it worse so <laughs> thanks <laughs>